Uh, okay, uh, I'm in front of my Santisma Marte altar. Uh, I've got a few things going here. I should have said that I have a little altar to St. Expedite. That's a separate altar and it's beside uh, Holy Death. So I've got some incense going and I have a red candle and I've got a pink candle and a purple candle. Uh, love and influence, basically, because uh, this is a love working that we're doing. Uh, I've got some jobs here, some jar spells, and then I've got some breakup spells to the far side. Uh, so I know I've uh, I've skimmed the surface with regards to information on Santissima and Morte. I like to give it in drips and drabs. Uh, so I, ha I do have notes. Uh, she is the personification of, of death. Uh, she's the reaper. Uh, so let's see. She, as you know, she's a Mexican folk saint, uh, and in in Mexican culture, uh, they they go and visit the graves um, a certain time of the year. Uh, Dia dos de los muertos, excuse my pronunciation. That's a celebration of the spirits of the dead. Uh, you know, she is connected to that. I believe, uh, obviously, <laughs> she's deaf and personified. So, so they bring food uh, and stuff uh, to the graves. And the, to me, they view, like I said, they view death differently. Uh, the word Santissima comes from Santa. Uh, and then Santa can either mean holy or saint, as in Santa Barbara, Saint Barbara. So, so uh, she's not canonized. Uh, so she's got her three robes. I know there's many more robes, but the three robes are the main ones. The red robe uh, is Lenina Roja. Uh, the black robe is Lenina Negra. And the white one is Lenina Blanca. La Blanca. So yeah, uh, the white girl. <laughs> I've heard her being phrased as. So the three robe systems cover almost you know all human desires uh the white one was born the moment the life was uh so she sits beside god in heaven uh, <laughs> uh i'm referencing from a, a book i pray to her in my own way but i i also am very aware of the christian way of approaching her or the catholic way should i say whatever uh so her robe basically uh, covers what area uh, the black one is for can be for protection or hexing cursing the red one for love matters and the white one healing and things like that she's very capable of uh, removing any you know bullshit in your way any crap she can bulldoze through it she's very good at protecting you from your enemies so, you know, she's a strong, very, very, very strong force. So, you know, she is deaf. So, uh, there is an empire with St. Michael or St. Cyprian. Uh, that takes place. Uh, the empire is protection, like a protection prayer. I used to do this. Uh, if I can find the information, I will uh, give it the empire you would say, to protect you, basically. Uh, that can be, but yeah, St. Michael or St. Cyprian. Uh, let's see. So, if you're going to do this the Catholic way, you would uh, do the opening prayers. So these are used before any work in our service to open the session and get the, uh, her attention. So you would say, uh, Our Father... Uh, three Hail Marys, one Glory Be to St. Michael, St. Michael the Archangel, uh, defend, this is it, defend us in our day of battle, uh, and then Almighty God before your divine presence, and then you do the sign of the cross. Uh, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, I ask uh, permission to invoke the Santissima Morte, Holy and Powerful Mother, at this moment, I beg for your presence and intervention through the great power which God has given you. I beg of you to hear my prayers 
and grant me all the favours I ask of you until the last day, hour and moment when the Divine Majesty shall call me before his presence. Santissima Morte, beloved of my heart, do not abandon me without your protection. Sign of the cross, you do the sign of the cross there. In the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, Amen. So that's basically, I'm going to have to put that into the description box. Uh, when you're closing it at the very end, you would then go into the, again, you would do the uh, three Our Fathers, and I think that's really it. Yeah. If you're starting out, I would recommend you start out with a white uh, little statue because the white one is her in her mildest form. I know a lot of people want her to work uh, love magic and stuff, so then you go into the red, but uh, I would work with the white one first of all. These statues, people buy these statues on the net, and the thing is, you're just buying a statue. The statue has to be consecrated. So when I buy a statue, I, uh, I will clean my statue, and then I basically... Will fumigate it, I will blow smoke on it, uh, and I spray some alcohol on it as well. Tequila. So, and then it's very important for you to call her down into the statue. Otherwise, you know, like I said, it's just a statue. You know, you really have to call her down so that she inhabits that statue. Uh, so, the Amparo. It's a very important, uh, hello, I'll be honest with you, I don't use it. At the end of the day, I don't use it. But a lot of people really, really, really uh, are ad you know, adamant that you should use the Amparo. That's basically, she does carry death essence. So that's why the Amparo is for your protection. Uh, I do, well, I used to have a little glass and case candle for saint michael and i would light that as i was uh basically saying the amparo or the prayer and let's see her feast day there are two one is good friday <laughs> i can see why this is the day that god sent her to reap christ on the cross her greatest honor the second is Dia de los Muertos, November the 1st. To celebrate them, you can clean her altar, give her flowers. Uh, Good Friday. Uh, da, 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 yeah. Recite the rosary. You can visit the cemetery and leave offerings to, uh, you know, any graves that are being unattended. Whoever wrote this is, uh, I'm just summarizing it because I can relate to this, this writing. It's actually very good. Uh, before any working, invoke her by the opening prayers. When working a specific robe, move that statue to the middle of the... Well, that's actually what I do, yeah. Middle of your altar. Uh, so, candle burning is one of the most traditional and effective means of petitioning her, especially nine days in a row. Well, this will be longer than nine days. This will be for a full 21, I reckon, maybe more. Uh, if you're... Statue has a removable scythe. You can place uh, the photograph of your enemy, even you know, into like I've done with actually. Uh, I normally take the scythe out. That little hand's removable on the. I know you can't really see that red statue, but sometimes I put the petition in the hand of. Uh, there's a little gap where I can place the petition. Uh, da da da. So, yeah, you need to be specific because she, like I keep emphasizing, she's a hot saint and uh, you don't want her to, you know, get it. You want her to get the full picture, so be specific, uh, especially, you know, people that want money and things like that there. You need to make sure it's with of no harm to yourself or any of your loved ones because money can be, uh, you know, you can obtain money through inheritance and you don't want anyone to have an accident or anything like that. So basically, uh, that's a bit of a rundown. I will go into, you know, a bit more depth as to her origins in another video. But the client, 
wants reconciliation with, uh, like I said, uh, her guy. And we're calling her. And I've actually called her. I've given her an offering. And I've got an offering plate over here. There's a lot of cake on it. <laughs> there's everything. There's cookies. There's cake. There's uh, candy, sweets, things like that. To me, she's not fussy. A lot of people, they sort of uh, have their own opinions, but in my opinion, she she will take things, no matter what they are. And it's strange because uh, my older sent to send expedite is right beside her. Uh, they don't sh they're not sharing altar space because she likes her own space, and she, in my opinion, she will only share with Hezu's mother sent uh, Hezu's mother. Uh, they have a connection uh, but anyway what was I saying there uh, I forgot uh, yeah uh, she she really needs her own space but I've noticed that yeah when I put an offering out to her and one out to Saint Expedite on the same day when I come to when I go to change the offerings and it's always on the same day I find that her offering has decayed a lot more than St. Expedite's. So I'm assuming it's the it's the death energy. Uh, she's all consuming and uh, things just go up. Flowers seem to go off a lot quicker on her altar than, uh, you know, than St. Expedite's. You know, it's, it's, it's strange, but I suppose it's, it stands to reason because of her being, uh, you know, all about death. But... I have to say, because she is all about death, she, her teachings are to do with life and making the most of life and not wasting a single minute living life, um, you know. So, you know, I just want to make sure you you don't think she's evil in any way because she's not. She's the most powerful uh, being I've ever worked with. And I don't even like using that word being. Uh, she's a goddess. She's a beautiful goddess. And uh, she really, she really, really helps people and she will not close the door on anyone. So I'm going to get on to this little working. It's just a, a little binding. And then uh, uh, a reading. So I'm going to have to mind the pictures uh, together so that the, the honey is in the middle. I closed it up. And I'm folding it towards me. So he's looking into her face. This picture of them together. And I just folded it up. So they're looking into each other's faces. And I want to fold it. If that makes sense. Always bring it in. Fold it as until you can get it as tiny as possible. And I'm putting that inside the petition. I've blessed these uh, two little doll babies. One for her and one for him. I'm sorry, the light in, the, in here is dreadful. It's been like this since Christmas and I really need to get it fixed. Uh, okay. So I'm just going to... We've got a little padlock because we want to lock them together and bind them. I've also put some love oil on the dolls and uh, stay with me oil, things like that. Everything pertaining to love and romance. Excuse me. So it's always springing towards you. <clears throat> it makes sense, of course. Oh, I'm going to do this again because it's sliding. <clears throat> Excuse me. And always visualize it in your mind's eye. See it. See it unravel. Okay. So we've got them tied together with the padlock. Push that now into a little, a little jar. Okay. So what I'm going to do is pour some rose water on them. Ah, let's see. Running out as usual. Always the way. Uh, 
and then we're going to fill it up with uh, some honey. Always focusing and seeing in your mind's eye the end result. I would also uh, encourage you, if you're doing this spell, to uh, visualize the end result. Even if it's a few minutes before you uh, retire for the night, before you sleep, see your end result as if it has already happened. Don't worry about how you get there. Just focus and see in your mind's eye. I'm sorry for the time this is taking. It's just I don't want to overflow. <laughs> I think we're okay, actually. <clears throat> right. Doll babies work really well because they're representations of you and the person, the target. Uh, you could use just like I did with the photographs. That's fine, but I like doll babies. I think they work a little bit better than just photographs, but each to their own. This is a glass heart. <clears throat> you don't need it. It's it's uh, symbolic. Precipitation powder for speed. The red one, if you can get your hands on it. These things are very, very rare. Uh, paste powder that I make. Uh, some follow me boy I did put a little bit of control on his doll a tiny bit control oil earlier uh, I'll put some convince oil on his doll because we want him to come back so we're convincing him to come back uh, a little bit of cinnamon stick because that creates a bit of sexual heat along with some ginger okay uh, some stay with me oil uh, and some or are you love me while okay uh maybe a little bit of eye bright just to you know keep things so that everyone is telling the truth because eye bright is really good for the truth of the matter Okay, church dirt. I really need to get uh, I really need to get. I forgot what I was going to say. Uh, I'm trying to focus on this. I forgot what I was going to say. Uh, it doesn't matter. It must not be important. Okay, yeah, and a little rose quartz for love. So maybe a little bit more uh, syrup, uh, no, honey. And what I'm going to do is before I say this, I'm going to put some, I haven't got any at the moment. Uh, they're downstairs, but I will get them. There's some rose petals. I'm going to put that at the very top. Just a little bit of sugar to sweeten just to sweeten things a little bit more it can never be too sweet what i do is i focus energy on this uh and then i lift it and i blow into it and then i'll put a lid on it uh highly likely i'll burn the taper candles on it I'm going to give this a good run. I'm reckoning around 21 days-ish. It could be more. I'm not sure. 
check in with me let me know how you're going because uh, I'm not certain how long I'm going to work it for I will do her novena over the well I'll do her prayers should I say over the 21 days uh, and then I'll keep on working it for maybe another we'll see we'll see keep in touch with me that's the most important thing uh, or I could burn a chime candle per night on it I'm not sure but it will go to her altar it will sit there I'm gonna put a little bit of rose oil in just before I put the petals in okay okay so I have a reading so I'm gonna put you on hold and come back to you uh, and I'm gonna put your name on this jar because I do that with everyone just so I know who's who and this will sit on her altar like I said until I decide what's going on and basically uh, updates from you and then I'll deploy it if I think you're at the right stage where it needs deployed so I will be back in one moment okay so I have a reading here now this is an up-to-date reading uh, the work was obviously quite a while ago I've already emailed you with regards to the situation uh, okay uh, I'm a bit pushed for time so I'm gonna get straight into this uh, so I'm just looking first of all at the heart of the matter and I can see the breakup which I think is still the case I, I think the two of you haven't uh, connected yet uh, not to the way you know you want uh, I do see him via the man card sitting beside the rod the birch rod the whip uh, so I'm thinking along the lines of this man does have uh, regrets he he does the decision he made I'm thinking to myself it's a decision he didn't truly want to make but looking over here I've got the mice and the clouds I think he had to make that decision uh, the mice is a, not a good card it's it's when something is constantly uh, eaten away and the clouds the, the, that's depicting just discord and things being unsettled but that's all what we already know kind of thing but I can still because that's your center card your key card I'm thinking that you're you're still not at that place yet obviously uh, because the cross is still a place of discord and I, and I also see it as what well, yeah, that card will come up if a couple have not you know come together but I'm going to pull more of these in a moment uh, I did look at some oracle cards oracle cards get straight to the point they can be very cryptic but uh, I usually just let you decide what they may be uh, so I've got the brown haired woman could be you not sure uh, then we've got the lady followed by the lovers and then we've got generosity which is a bit strange uh, and then we've got peace so I'm not sure uh, what that could mean it's been a while so maybe you you know if you wish you can uh, you know contact me and let me know what you think uh, so I'm going to shuffle these cards again and I want to I want to basically see uh, the outlook this the spell uh, that I did for you I want to see if I can it's all up to you of course at the end of the day I need you to get back to me and confirm if you want this uh, but if you want it come back to me and I can rework it and we can see if 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 this is what you want of course uh, if we can push uh, the situation a little bit harder no one spell I've said this before a lot of the time uh, no one spell is guaranteed to bring you results sometimes it takes a few spells uh, you know sometimes it can take uh, just some time for the two people involved to get to the place where they should be if that makes sense so I'm gonna shuffle these up uh, 
just one moment. Okay, uh, right. Okay, so down the line, okay. We've actually got good news. Uh, down the line, and I did ask the cards, timelines are something that I've said before, it's very hard to predict, and I have told you via email that I can never really give a timeline on results. However, I did ask these cards in approximately six to nine months, gave me the situation. Uh, nothing is set in stone, so things can change. But at the moment, what I've pulled is quite good. So I've got the center card being the sun, which is all about happiness in every area of life. Over here, I've got the cavalier, the horse rider, sitting beside the book. And we've got the tree and the key. Right. Now, I can portray this in a few different ways, but uh, I'll get to the point. You're going to hear some sort of news. Uh, that book is something that is possibly uh, something that should have been told to you or something you should have said to someone. If that's, if that's ringing true, it's a, a secret that needs to come out in the open or something that needs to actually be said. But... It, but it will. So I don't know if it's you need to say something or he needs to say something. I'm thinking more along the lines of he needs to say something. But whenever when he does say it, things will fall into place, I think. <clears throat> Excuse me. I've got the tree and the key. So we've got the solution. But just be careful because the tree is uh, pointing me towards health issues. Uh, be careful. Um... I'm thinking about things being a bit detrimental to your health. Uh, you know, keep your strength up. You know, look after yourself. It's important. It's very important. Especially when you get any kind of, you know, magical work via me or whoever. Just uh, keep your strength up. But also the tree is a, a long life with the person that you want it to be with. Uh and the key is the door or the key opens uh, all doors so I, I think what i'm seeing here is quite good so i have run this past year again something will be said which will make things better you'll be happy via this sun card uh settling down in life uh the solution via the key key opens all the doors uh so basically, whatever is going to be said will be the solution and which will end whatever is going on at the moment. And things will start to, you know, become brighter. That's what I'm seeing, which is not bad at all. Uh, what else could I do whilst I'm here? I don't have much time left, but what time am I? Yeah, I'm running a bit late. I'll not go any further because uh, if you want to ask anything with regards to these cards, feel free. Uh, you know, I can always elaborate. Don't I don't mind that at all. Uh, apologies once again for the delay in getting this to you. I have uh, sent you an email. I hope you uh, received that. Uh, what else am I going to do? So it's just for everyone else who's watching this. Uh, I have a working coming up with... King Belial, uh, that's coming up next. That is a, a working to control someone uh, who's been extremely negative and this person is an abuser. So that's up next. Uh, and I have a ton of videos on the way. So it's houseofmagic at gmail.com. If you have anyone out there wants to know about your video, please email me. Never think you're bother or never wait for me to email you. Uh, sometimes emails can just get lost in, you know, cyberspace because I get so many emails a day. It's unbelievable. Sometimes up to 50, maybe more emails a day from people all over the world emailing me. And sometimes I just don't see emails. So if, if you really, really need to contact me, resend your email. I know I keep saying not to resend constantly, but put an emoji in the subject line, something like a smiling face or something. I suppose I've told everyone now and they'll all be doing this. So that doesn't really, that's an Irish thing to do, isn't it? 
But anyway, just put your name in the subject line so that I see it because I'm good with names and I will remember you and uh, I'll get back to you as soon as possible. It's just it's sometimes uh, things can be overlooked and I don't want anyone to think that I'm slacking on your work or I'm not providing you with a video. So just or whatever it is that you've ordered. So just please get back to me. It's easier that way. And uh, to the client, uh, uh, I hope this resonates with you. Let me know. Uh, and I will speak to everyone soon.